Hello and welcome, in today's video I want to review this network attached storage called Terramaster F4 for 124 Max. Let's go! Okay, first of all, what is NAS? NAS is Network Attached Storage. In simple terms, NAS is a storage server to which you can connect from different devices such as Windows PC, Linux PC, Smart TV, etc. It would be very useful for common business users. So what's inside? We have 10 core Intel Core i5 with max burst up to 4.4 GHz. The maximum support memory is DDR5 64 GB. We have DDR5 8 GB memory, which is already installed. And we have integrated Intel graphics. The maximum resolution is 4K and 60 FPS. The package has arrived. That's how it looks. Let's see what's inside. We have tutorials and instructions, a discount code, a power supply, an Ethernet cable, mounts for HDD, I think, another guides, and the server. That's how it looks. What about connectors? We have power supply connector, USB Type-C connector, USB 3.1 connector, so we can even connect a super fast USB thumb drive to this server. We have two 10 gigabits LAN ports and HDMI connector. Hard drive installation is quite simple. All you need is to press here and pull it out. That's all. As you can see, the hard drives will be connected directly to the motherboard. Also, you can connect two M2 NVMe SSDs. Okay, but how we can install an NVMe SSD? So very simple, all you need is to remove these screws and then remove the top case, like this. And now we can simply install an NVMe SSD. This one, for example, this is one of my test NVMe SSDs. And of course, if you want to use 2.5 SSD, you can install it here as well. Something like this. I have one of my test HDDs. Let's try to install it. I found another one. Let's install it too. Okay, let's turn it on already. Now we need to download the software. All links will be in the description. I will use my main PC with Windows 11 installed. So we will need to download this file. Now we must install the software. Next, next, next. Starting the app. And as you can see, the app found our server. Now all you need is to click on it. And the setup begins. Now press start. Now wait until it initializes. All data on your disks will be erased. So be careful here. And then press confirm. Now we need to sign the agreement. Here you must name your device. For example, let it be Terramaster. And here you need to type your username and the password. Then press next. Now you will need to add an email. If you can't receive the verification code, you can skip it. It has TOS 6 operating system. That's how it looks. Here you can reboot or shut down your server. You can install applications. You can create backups, control panel, other features, etc. So let's see how it works. You can now go to control panel and select storage pool. As you can see, it creates a RAID using my two hard disks with 320 gigabytes of capacity. And now it's synchronizing. Okay, the sync is completed. But this NAS has one cool feature. It's called Hypercache. It allows you to increase performance of your disks. Hypercache can double the storage performance and create more efficient and reliable hybrid storage for you. But to turn Hypercache on, you will need a 2.5 SSD. I will use one of my test SSDs for this. To create Hypercache, you need to click here. Select the volume, and as you can see, I have 2.5 SSD with 120 gigabytes of capacity. So I just click next. All data on SSD will be erased. Confirm. We have a balance mode and a read-write mode. Using a balance mode, the data of writing speed will be reduced to a certain extent, but the reading speed can be improved. Balance mode can avoid the risk of data loss. But when you use a read-write mode, the data will be written to the SSD cache first and then written to the disk later. So the data may be lost once the SSD fails or unexpectedly loses power. I will use a balance mode. Then I click next and confirm. That's good, it's working well. Now we can create a shared folder to access our files from another computer. To create a folder, you need to press here, then name your folder. For example, let it be NAS files. Here you can select the volume, in my case it's volume 1, 500 gigabytes, then press next. If you're afraid of stealing your data, here you can encrypt it. I don't want to enable encryption, so press next. Here you can set permissions. I will leave it by user, then press next. 
here you can set up your user permissions. I'm the only one who will access this server, so I will give myself all permissions, read and write, and then press next. You can also set a storage quota. I don't need it, that's why I press cancel and press confirm. When configuring permissions for a large number of files, the process may take time, okay? Now, for example, we have a PC with Windows 11 installed. Go to network, and as you can see here, we have our server. Double click on it, type your username and the password. Here you can remember your login and press OK. And here is our folder, NAS files. Let's put one of my videos here. Let be this 7 GB video. Paste. And as you can see, the speed is 110 MB per second. But why it's so low? It happens because I have a twisted pair cable. The maximum speed of this cable is 1 gigabit. If you'd like more speed, you will need a cable CAT6 or higher. For example, CAT6A cable can give you 10 gigabit of the speed. And of course, to get this speed, you will need to use SSD, NAT, and HDD. And your motherboard network adapter should support this speed. Okay, now let's check our file. Go to File Manager. And here it is. We can even open it. And it works very fast. Another useful thing is that you will be able to access your files here from other devices, such as uh, Linux devices, Windows devices, and even using a smart TV. So for example, you can watch one of your favorite movies in 4K resolution, which is, I think you will agree, sounds very nice. Go next, let's talk about backups. Backups, I think, a very important thing. We have a huge amount of backup apps here. For example, using centralized backup, you will be able to create a full backup of your files in Windows. To do it first, you need to install it here on the NAS. Then click a device, select Windows PC, and then click download centralized backup agent. This app must be installed in Windows. After this, you can backup your files in Windows. Another backup app called Duple Backup. This app will copy important files to different locations. It means to different disks, volumes, etc. So even if your HDD will broke, you will be able to restore your important files from another drive. Go next, another app called TerraSync. You can sync your files on different devices. There is also an application center. Here you can find a lot of apps and install what you need. In control panel, you can check your processes and it has a resource monitor. That's all, as you can see, we have all features for home users and business users. If you're interested, all the links will be in the description. Write in the comments section, do you have your own server? If you enjoyed this video, press the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. See you later, bye.